Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video on Ow! I just hit my head on nice, the nice, your head. Nice going. <laughs> nice going. What's the name of our channel? Oh, it's the electrics. <laughs> on the electrics. So what are we making tonight? We are going to make, I don't know, cabbage burritos. So we saw this really cool recipe on Tasty, no, delicious, delish, it's called delish. It's a, like a social media viral. Yeah, it looked really, really cool. And we've been posting a lot of just different um, stuff lately and I thought that this would be a good change of pace and we can show people like what we like actually making and eating. Well, we like, this will be like a test kitchen because we've, yeah, never, made we've never made this before. And this dog is biting my hand right now. Oh, Goku. Okay, I'll pet you. So we have lean, ground turkey right here. So we're gonna do this. We've got some Taco Bell seasoning. No, you can't have that. Taco Bell seasoning, broccoli slob, and I have no idea why sugar-free jello is here, but it is. Um, diced onions, which should go really well in it. And then we, guess we got some pico de gallo, which is one of my favorites. She loves it too. She got medium. Not sure how hot this is gonna be, but we'll see. And we got some cabbage, so. And we have a bonus round. Oh yes, we do have a bonus round. A it's, bonus not, round. it's not gonna be strictly we're gonna do a quick costume change. You guys want? Do you want to give him a little sneak? Oh, that's so cute. That is. We'll, we'll tell that story when it when it comes okay. up. But we also have some. We also have a mystery bag. Ooh, there might be candy in there. So I'm not gonna go through the whole recipe step by step. I'm actually just gonna show you guys a cool little time lapse of us attempting to make this. So we're gonna do that right now. So we got them. This is the finished product right here. I just want to take a bite. Can we just take a bite? Let's do it. Or should we put pico on it? Or should we just like? Let's take it first bite the way it is. Oh, I wanted to take a picture for. I'll take a picture. For. Oh, oh, oh. Let's come on. Yeah, I want like. Uh... Okay, that's not our picture mode. I don't know. Well, I gotta do this for. I'm, so, I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I have to turn it towards the back. Several days later. So I'm actually extremely, extremely impressed with how well these came out. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably just like, dude, what are you eating? I can't always have a ton of carbs in my diet since I do challenges still. Will always be challenge, do, doing challenges, but you guys get the picture here. Mm, oh, it looks so good. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-mm. Very yummy. It is good. It's delicious. Um, it's definitely not a tortilla. Mm. But I'm struggling. So yours you're fall apart. Mm-hmm. I take this over Chipotle any day. Oh, fuck yeah. Speaking of, have you watched our Chipotle video yet? I haven't uploaded it yet. Well, actually, it might be up by now. It might time. be up by now. So, if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. If it's not up yet, it's coming soon. You <laughs> 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 just everywhere. I know. Oh. That smells amazing. That's gonna be so good on Magic Pops. I'm kind of scared to try that. Don't be scared. Uh-huh. It has a teeny, teeny, tiny spice to it, but it's really good. I don't know. I was thinking that, you know, the reason why we let me hold my self while these dogs bark. I was just telling Christy, for making a recipe, just kind of just like winging it for the first time. That, I mean, I'm surprised at how good this came out. Yeah, the salsa's not that bad. Not that hot. I think the salsa's really good. So, overall, 
Like I, this is definitely not gonna make someone that's craving burritos get their, their craving fulfilled. But. I wouldn't necessarily say that because the, the, the meat, beans, and veggies. They make you, they take you, good. they take you to Chipotle. Mm -hmm. The, we use taco seasoning in this. And you put cilantro in it. I think it's absolutely delicious. No, we tried it, we got this off of, um, I can never remember, Delish. Um, and they used ground beef and we substituted that for ground turkey because we- But we did 99% lean ground turkey. Yeah. So I think it's still, like for me- That's how you probably feel in the morning when you get up and drink your water. I drink it out of a, a sippy cup with zero sound, sound to it at all. He does thirsty, he's a water horse. All the dog lovers are like, just just deal with it, Eric. Just deal with it. He's cute. He is literally like a camel right now. Mm -hmm. Just so you guys know, we have a great Dane in the in the house with us. And he's like a little Eric's apparently. just not used to big dogs. I'm used to him, so they don't they don't bother me. And I like dogs. I like him. No. I didn't say you don't like animals. I no, said no. you're not used to I'm big. just clarifying that I like dogs because okay. people jump to conclusions. I really struggled with that burrito. Would you like the other half and I'm gonna get veggies and meat? Go ahead. Um, blanch just a little bit longer or got in a different, our cabbage cut that we got, that was a big ass cabbage and it was, it was very rough. So I probably would just get a different cabbage next time. But I, I really like this. Would you like me to fix you a plate like this? Please. I feel like we have so many selfies with you with lettuce sticking out of your mouth. You know we're gonna get a bunch of comments from people going, why aren't you eating burritos without the, the tortillas? No, oh, not. they're probably gonna be like, Christy, when are you gonna post a recipe? I'm gonna say, it's on my Girl Hustle trainer. That's what I'm gonna say. Absolutely stunning. This is a jaw workout though. I'm just munching away over here. That's very good. What exactly would you like? That is perfect. I never would have touched ground turkey until you made it for me a, a few weeks ago. Yeah, ground turkey is delicious. Which is funny to me, because you know, I was surprised that it, you don't typically eat ground turkey. It's like one of my staples. I wasn't a huge um, meat guy. Like I eat meat like maybe once or twice a week outside of like even my challenges. Even chicken and stuff? Even chicken and stuff, yeah. Really? I buy like tofu and stuff like that, but I don't know, I just didn't really, like I like Still, it. Still like before, like while we've known each other. Mm -hmm. So when I came out to San Diego, you had been eating tofu. Not tofu tofu, but. Just like mostly veggies. Soybean based, like meat substitutes and stuff. I just like the taste of them. I really do. I like, I'll be honest, I've, I've never really tried them. I'll have to I have tried try. tofu at Whole Foods. Yeah, but that was horrible. Like that, was, they saw the, the Whole Foods video. That was not a very good tofu experience. Why are you crying? Stop it. But yeah, the tofu that you, I feel like if you eat, and a lot of people are probably gonna correct me for being wrong here. I mean, I don't expect a lot of vegans to still be watching this video, but <laughs> um, tofu, it's all it's all dependent on how you, on how you prepare it. So if you have just a block of tofu with some teriyaki sauce on it, you're probably not gonna like it. The way that I always used to make tofu when I was vegan, and yes, I was vegan, um, for mainly just performance reasons, uh, I wouldn't, I, I mean, I don't really have any issues eating meat and knowing that animals are slaughtered. It's mainly just, you know, there's a lot of propaganda out there, but for the most part, there's a lot of inhumane ways that they slaughter animals, so well, that's another debate. Um, but I would cut tofu up and I just really, really thinly, and mm -hmm. I, I'd bake it and it'd get crispy. Mm. So that was really good. 
You don't have to do that for me sometime. <clears throat> One thing I do like for a meat substitute is a portobello mushroom cap. Oh yeah, that'd be good. I'll do that for like burgers and stuff. I think that's really good. Sometimes when I go out to restaurants, I'll, I've never done it with you, but sometimes I'll get like a veggie bur burger because oh, they're they're good. And so, like if you if you never would have said that, I would never guess that you would have gotten something. Like but that. you have to ask if they're. I prefer the rice based ones versus the black bean ones. So yeah. you just have to ask the restaurants. I do too. Uh, I get less. That's one of the reasons why I stopped veganism is because I was so bloated from all of the fiber. Yep. Um, and it just like, if your diet, that, that's what, one of my main things with like veganism, it's like the diet, if you're not consuming a ton of soy and you're getting your protein from mainly just beans, lentils, you're, you're gonna feel a lot, of fiber. a lot of like very, very heavy and dense. Which is interesting because most people don't realize that too many veggies too much fiber, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Too much of anything is not a good thing. Exactly, everything in moderation. And so I believe your fiber should be 14 grams per 1,000 calories. Mm -hmm. Don't quote me on that, I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. So if you're eating 2,000 calories, you should be eating 2,800, or 2,800, 28 grams of fiber, which mm -hmm. really isn't that much. So you can, easily overdo fiber if you're eating too many veggies, too much whole wheat, too much black beans, like whatever it is. It, like, But honestly though, it's still like literally. And net carbs, where you subtract fiber from carbs, that, is, that does, yeah, no, that does not work. Um, it blows my mind how people have a hard time getting fiber. Like I have a hard yeah. time staying under 70 grams of fiber a day. I have a hard time staying under 50 grams a day. Yeah. Um, but I guess it's, it's just basically the American, like typical American diet is, that's the It's thing. very low in fiber, the typical American diet. Um, but once you start eating healthy, so that's, that's the thing when people are like, Hey, well, I started my diet. I'm eating healthier foods. Why have I gained weight? You've gained water weight because of the new yeah. fiber yeah. in your body is trying to figure out how to digest. Cause when you cut out certain foods for so long, your diet, your body will stop producing certain digestive right. enzymes. And so once you introduce healthier foods back into your diet, your body is very smart and it'll adapt. Mm -hmm. But it's, you have to give it a grace period to work. So when people are like, well, I'm, you know, I'm exercising, I'm eating healthy. Why am I gaining weight? You're not, you're not putting on body fat. You're gaining water weight. Mm -hmm. And so. You probably get that a lot. Oh, I get that all the time. I get that all the time. And, and it's okay. Like, I don't mind. I feel like I say the same thing over and over again, but it's just a matter of like, Educating because I didn't know that at first until I started doing research. I was like, oh uh -huh. Oh, that makes sense because I one night One morning I weighed myself and that night. I mean like I was in a calorie deficit that night you I knew had, you were in a calorie deficit. I knew I was in a calorie deficit and I did my cardio that day and that night I happened to have um, Spaghetti squash. Oh, yeah, that's fiber. The next steady. morning I gained three pounds Wow, three pounds but I knew I didn't put on body fat. It was water. And because that was, it was a lot of fiber. Mm -hmm. So anyway, long story short, we eat these veggie burritos and um, you can do too many veggies. I don't know how we got on this topic, but it's a good one. It's a good one to talk we got about. got on from, from veganism. Yeah. And a lot of people that watch our channel are vegan and we definitely want to say that, oh yeah, no sugar added ketchup, that there's nothing wrong with being vegan at Absolutely all. Absolutely not. I did an Instagram post today which if you're watching this, it was probably a few weeks ago. Um, I did an Instagram post talking about um, diet reviews on ways that I have, because I've tried certain diets and when I say try, it wasn't for a day, it wasn't for a week. Like I gave them an honest shot. You have, hope you have to try it for longer than a Yeah, day. hope the, and like as a coach, I feel like it's my responsibility to give valid reasons why this works, why this doesn't work. And honestly, at the end of the day, you have to choose a lifestyle that works for you because any diet that you choose if it doesn't if it doesn't fit your lifestyle it's not going to work yeah. anyway yeah so it doesn't it matter it. it doesn't necessarily matter what you do you just have to do what works for you but we were listening to a podcast today where most people want the easy way and the lazy way and it doesn't work that way like oh, it crap. still is going to require change and effort right but you have to choose a lifestyle that requires change and effort that works for you veganism would not work for me it would not fit my lifestyle. I, I enjoy meat products and mm -hmm. animal products. I enjoy them. 
Um, same with like vegetarian, like I just, I, I couldn't do veggies all the time. I would get so bored. I just mm. couldn't do it. I lasted a little while on it, but as a cyclist, I mentioned earlier how like I always felt weighed down and heavy mm -hmm. from the amount of fiber that I had to eat each day just to meet my protein requirements. I have a very, very high protein requirement and to be able to, to meet that is very, it's hard when you're constantly, you, you're, you're moving, you always feel weighed down. So when you're feeling weighed down and you got like so much fiber, I'm just curious, when you're doing like your cyclist, like when you're GI distress. Oh yeah, I still, just, like, I still deal with it to this day. So, and you're, are you in constant pain because no, of it? No, no, no. no. I'm just, I've never been in constant pain. It's just a very, like a lot of people can probably attest to this. You just feel extremely heavy and dense. So, um, the, I just grabbed the, the vegan diet and also for, you know, being with some, having a past with an eating disorder and being with a, such a restrictive diet already, I have had so many, I've had so many people jump down my throat, mainly vegans that were like, well, you know, you can easily, you know, just have yourself on a, on a, you know, food list of just dairy animal free for the rest of your life. But if I'm walking down the aisle and I literally walking down the aisle of what? I, I was going to finish. <laughs> a grocery store and you pick up a box of Cheerios and you're literally looking at a box of Cheerios to see if it's animal free of any animal products or not it's like I did that I brought home Cheerios once and I got just destroyed by like vegans that said that there was a certain like vitamin B um, that was you that see, was that, it's like so there was bone char in the sugar that I was eating and, and it's like are you like I, that's I just absolutely I, insane. So I think that there is a lot of extremism on that side as there is extremism on people doing like stuff like the carnivore diet. But um needless to say the veganism is not what for, is a carnivore diet? Uh all meat. Like eggs, nothing. It's just no, all no, meat. No, it's just all meat. I could be see, wrong. See that but, like how would you get enough fiber doing that? Um, I apparently you can have like leafy vegetables, but it's it's like 95% meat. So basically, it's steak and asparagus. Yeah. Um, chicken and broccoli. Yeah. And yeah. Hmm. So um, no, thank you. Oh, that's Except, a whole other. I know, but that's what it kind of sounds like to me. Anyway. anyway. Now that we've enjoyed our our uh, burritos, we have a little. We're gonna take a little break. Do a little costume change. How are we doing costume change? <laughs> So that is what we got, guys. If you guys like taffy, we both like taffy, you're in for a treat. Yeah. So there are assorted flavors of, of taffy here. Well, I do know that we got like chicken and waffles, we got pancakes and waffles, we got- uh, Pancakes and waffles. Pancakes and syrup, oops, sorry. No, maple. Maple, maple no. no we it got was, maple it was, and pan pancakes. No, there was a bacon and maple. A, their hottest taffy, which I'm not gonna like. You like. grabbed that one? I did grab, it's gonna be in here. We got cinnamon roll, we got a lot of taffy in here. So what we're gonna do right now, Put this right here, and we're both not gonna cheat. I know mm -mm. this one is the blue. It's a blue, uh, like I don't know, but we're gonna try. We're, we're gonna, gonna try, try these to all remember out. the flavors, Lemon but we're gonna get. I saw this shirt, and you know it's his famous fitness, phrase, fitness, fitness you know, blah, blah blah. And I saw it, and I was like, that is that's Eric the Electric. And so when I was down there, I, was, I asked my cousin Danny to take a picture of me holding it up, and I just shot him a DM. Never expected him to see it or open it up, and... Here we are today. Here we are. The rest is history. Here we are. Just in case wait a minute, are you gonna, wait a minute, I'm really confused. Are you gonna feed me and then feed yourself, or what are we I doing? I just said we're done. We're split in half. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have one, you have one. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm this, nervous. It's like gum. Ooh. All right, got it? Okay. All right. One, two, three. It's like a caramel. Yeah, it's salty caramel. Oh, caramel. It's really good. Lots of lemon, for sure. Lemon drink. Um, mm -hmm. No, thank you. Got it like stuck to your thumb. Ooh. That's blue raspberry. I don't actually know. Oh, it's like popcorn. That's butter popcorn. Mmm, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where's the butter? That's not good. That's uh, gross. Like the people who like butter popcorn jelly beans, like get out of here. Yeah, dude. that's gross. I know I'm offending a lot of you right now, but ugh. Maple bacon or chicken and waffles? I'm really dreading getting the hot, hot one. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna spit that one out immediately. Ooh, that's the same roll for sure. Oh, that one is good. That was so good. I mm. wouldn't want to do the Harry Potter jelly bean one. No, thank you. Yeah, if you guys ever did those as a kid, like we did, oh, I, I, I feel like you never bad. do that again. Probably is. It tastes kind of fruity. 
Is it mm. the birthday cake one? Yeah, it's the birthday cake one. No. Like literally, my Be crown. Be careful. When I ate the world's largest gummy worm, my crown in a video literally came out twice. Ooh. How does it come out twice? Because it's 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 cemented in there. Oh, ow! I bet that hurt. Yeah, that hurt. My doc, my dentist watches my videos too, so it's even more hilarious. Are you struggling with that one? Yeah. I know that I grabbed candy. Ooh. Oh, you know what I'm Ooh. Ooh. That's blue raspberry for sure. That is the maple bacon one. Oh my goodness, yes it is. So the other one was chicken and waffles. Oh, go, right? candy corn. Taffy's, taffy's a pain in the ass to eat. Ooh. Oh yeah. That's watermelon. Oh yeah. You have to admit that, that's mm. the best one. Mm. We haven't gotten the hot one yet. I'm like mad because I don't want to end it with the hot one. I don't think we will. The chances of that happening, I think we got like 15 or 20. Oh yeah, we are. We're almost done. I think like chocolate. I have no idea. Candy's not supposed to be hot. Okay, I'll talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in my hair. Strawberry banana, maybe? It's like almond. Oh, okay, that one makes sense. <laughs> oh, that tastes like a Werther's. That's caramel for sure. That's like a car mm. that's like a caramel, like it's like a Werther's candy. Well, alrighty guys. That was our uh Vanilla? That definitely had to have been vanilla. Nice way to take that out. I wanted to see what color it was. So that was our little uh video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did enjoy it, be sure to let us know down in the comments below and let us know what you want to see next from us. Thank you for watching The Electrics. We're actually still coming up with like a cool little catchphrase, mm -hmm. catchphrase for this channel, but regardless, we have a lot of fun. We hope you guys do too, and we'll see you.